Good day, students. I am Dr. Monica Khetarpal. I am Associate Professor of Physics in Government Dungar College, Bikaner. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture of MSc Final Physics, and the topic is superconductivity. In my earlier lectures, I have taught you what are superconductors, Misner effect. And I have also dealt with the basic idea of BCS theory. I am summarizing you what I taught. What is BCS theory? Bardeen, Cooper, and Schiffer they proposed that in a superconductor there is a interaction between two electrons, and this interaction takes place through a virtual phonon. And this interaction is possible only when the attractive interaction between the two electrons occurring via phonon dominates over the usual electron electron coulomb repulsive force. This is the basic criteria for the occurrence of superconductivity. Superconductivity. In the superconductivity interaction, there are two electrons. These two electrons, they form a bound state via interaction through a phonon. These two electrons form a pair which is termed as Cooper pair. In my earlier lecture, we have studied about the basic criteria, how these electrons will form superconductor, that means a Cooper pair. Cooper pair is a system of two electrons which have equal and opposite momenta and spin. And they form a bound state by means of a virtual phonon exchange. Equal and opposite momenta means that means if one electron has a momentum plus h cross k, other electron must have momentum minus h cross k. And spin, one electron must have an up spin. And for the other electron, the spin must be down. Now I'm going to tell you what are the characteristics of these Cooper pair. Since we know that this electron lattice electron interaction takes place and this interaction must be stronger than the usual electron electron repulsive Coulomb interaction. Hence, this pairing of the electrons, this pairing is also temperature dependent phenomenon. This pairing takes place in a such a way that it is complete when the temperature is zero Kelvin. And as we increase the temperature and we approach to TC, this pairing, Cooper pairing, totally breaks up and the material transforms to a normal material. So we must have a electron phonon electron interaction that must be attractive and it must be greater than repulsive interaction between the electrons. Now, since these two electrons, which form a Cooper pair, now they are not free electrons as they were earlier. Now they are bounded electrons. The difference between the two energy states, what are the two energy states? one being two electrons that are free and other being a pair that is a Cooper pair which is bound state. The difference between the energy of two, these two states is known as binding energy of Cooper pair. And if we need to break a Cooper pair, this much energy must be supplied so as to break up a Cooper pair. Now, 
as we know that cooper pair is simply made by two electrons and these two electrons are bounded by a virtual phonon the mass of the system will be equal to simply equal to 2 into mass of electron here me is the mass of a single electron and the total pair uh, total spin must be equal to zero because one electron has spin up other electron has spin down so total spin plus half and minus half cancel out cancel out and total spin is zero similarly for the linear momentum mv for electron is in one direction and the momentum for another electron is in opposite direction hence total linear momentum will be zero a cooper pair is formed by two electrons these two electrons they are quasi particles what are quasi particles i have already told you quasi particles are the particles which are surrounding by some field here what is the field the field is of phonons because these two electrons interact through a phonon and so they are surrounded by a field of phonons now we can consider that cooper pair is a system of system to be considered like molecules of metals for example here i am taking hydrogen on cooling we get h2 and on heating it we get again the atoms similar is for our system which is a cooper pair these two electrons on cooling they form a cooper pair and when we heat it we get cooper pair broken to simply these two electrons now we can break up this cooper pair by the application of magnetic field another way to break this cooper pair is by using current for current greater than ic cooper pair can be destroyed what is ic ic is the minimum current that is needed to destroy destroy the superconductivity now we have two electrons which are bound to form a pair cooper pair this cooper pair will occupy certain volume and this volume will contain the center of 10 raised to power 6 other pair we have a cooper pair in which we have two electrons which are having a phonon between them and another cooper pair which is also having the similar thing that is two electrons and a phonon it can be found that these two pairs electrons can continuously interchange that means these two individual cooper pairs can have a interchange among their mates what are mates mates are the electrons of this cooper pair so we can say that lifetime of cooper pair is finite because there is a continuous interchange among the mates of these cooper pair so these were the important characteristics that are of cooper pair now moving over to the another important topic of bcs theory which is postulates of bcs theory the first important postulate is that we have already dealt that these two electrons which form a cooper pair there is a interaction between these two electrons and these electrons interaction must be attractive in nature so that they must supersede the repulsive interaction which is coulomb repulsive interaction this attractive interaction leads to a ground state which is separated from the excited state 
by an energy gap and we know that in superconductors thermal properties are consequence of this energy gap as we have derived the thermal property specific heat and we have shown that there is a jump at t equal to tc in the electronic component of specific heat so these thermal properties they are the most important consequence of this energy gap and we know that superconductivity occur when an electron interact with the lattice site and by the interaction of an electron with the lattice site there is a deformation in it a virtual phonon is emitted what does this deformation means that a virtual phonon is emitted and this phonon interact with the another lattice site at this lattice site we have an second electron and this second electron takes the advantage of the deformation and so the two electrons interact with each other through a virtual phonon and this indirect interaction between the two electrons through a phonon is responsible for the occurrence of superconducting phenomena the third most important postulate of bcs theory is that which we will be discussing in our next lectures is that coherence length is an important consequence of bcs theory london equation is obtained for magnetic fields that vary slowly in space and the central phenomena of superconductivity the misner effect is obtained in a natural way now moving over to the fourth postulate which states that the criteria for transition temperature tc is given by expression kbtc is equal to 1.14 h omega d exponential minus 1 upon g n0 here g is the electron phonon interaction parameter theta d being the divide temperature kb boltzmann constant mu d is frequency this tc is the temperature at which the transition occur in a superconducting material now when we are placing the superconducting ring on a magnetic field the magnetic flux through the, this ring is quantized and the effective unit of charge will be 2e in other materials it is simply e that means it is for a single electrons but here we have already shown that the occurrence of superconductivity is due to the formation of cooper pair and cooper pair is formed by two electrons so magnetic flux in superconductor will be quantized in the unit of charge which is 2e rather than a single e and the bcs ground state involve pair of electron and the flux quantization is in terms of pair charge 2e it is simply the consequence of this bcs theory so these are the five important postulates of the bcs theory so this is the most important topic for superconductivity i am summarizing what i taught you today superconductivity is a phenomena which occurs in material for which the electron electron attractive interaction is more than the electron electron repulsive coulomb interaction and this interaction occurs when an electron interacts with the lattice site by the interaction a virtual phonon is emitted 
and this virtual phonon interact with the other lattice site and at this lattice site there is a second electron so we can say that there is an indirect interaction between the two electrons through a virtual phonon this interaction must be attractive in nature and the so formed pair is termed as cooper pair and we have seen already seen that cooper pair formation occur when there are two electrons and they must have equal and opposite spin and momenta thank you students for watching